Hey everybody, it's a beautiful evening here in Hardeen, Colombia, and I've got a video for you that I think you're going to really enjoy. Now, in my last video, I talked about a few ways to make money on the internet just fast and easy, just, you know, kind of trading time for money, working for somebody else, but some a way that you can make money easily and uh, get paid without having to think, without having to learn anything new, without having to start a business, right? Just real easy ways. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about the easiest ways to make money that do require some learning, that do require some entrepreneurship. You're going to have to sell yourself, but there are things that you absolutely can do, and I absolutely uh, recommend that you figure out one of them. Don't try to do all of them at once because you're going to divide your attention and you're not going to get good at any of them. So, so pick one, focus on it, get good at it, and then start selling it. Now, you can teach yourself to do just about anything these days because of the internet. Everything is available to you. You can buy courses or you can just go on YouTube or you can Google. You can find how to do just about anything to a pretty advanced level. You can find a bunch of different blogs, a bunch of different YouTubers. They will explain in detail how to do these things. So um, there are a lot of high, high value skills that entrepreneurs, that business owners rather, are interested in. If you think about it, uh, there's a lot of things that... Well, when somebody starts a business, it's usually because he wants to, to serve the market with a particular skill. So somebody who cooks really well might start a restaurant because he wants to cook for people. Somebody who uh, is, becomes a chiropractor to, to heal people's pain, right, and starts a uh, chiropractic practice in order to heal people's pain. Well, there's a lot that they have to do in order to have a business apart from what they really want to be doing, right? So in order to have a successful res restaurant, you have to promote yourself. You have, to, um, you have to, to be in front of people, right? You have to get people in the door. In order to be a successful chiropractor office, you need to get people in the door. You need to, to keep your customers satisfied, etc. So there's a bunch of jobs that people are absolutely reliant on these entrepreneurs are absolutely reliant on but they don't really know how to do it very well so I'm going to give you five of these and uh, keep in mind as I'm telling you these that the more valuable that they are to the business owner the more they're willing to pay for them so I chose these specifically because I know that they're all very high value now the first one is digital advertising so that's advertising on Facebook on Google on YouTube on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on Reddit, whatever it is. Um, digital advertising is something that is huge for businesses and it's kind of a skill set that takes some developing so not a lot of people know how to do it well. This is something that you can go online, on Google, on YouTube, teach yourself how to do. And for any of these, I would say, give yourself maybe two weeks and set aside two weeks and spend all of your time just learning this. Right, learning whatever skill this is, whatever skill you want. So for digital advertising, you learn digital advertising for two weeks, and make sure that you're practicing along that time. So um, with digital advertising, right, maybe you don't have a product right away, but you can find a product. Just find a, a business owner that's willing to let you work for free, or even easier, just go on ClickBank.com and find an affiliate product and start running ads to your affiliate product. You know, you probably won't make any money right away because you're still getting good at it, but uh, you're learning, and that's the point. So you have a product to learn on. So digital advertising is something that's hugely important to businesses, and most of them don't know how to do it very well. Uh, the second one is web design. Everybody wants a website. Um, a lot of people, the, a lot of businesses still don't have a website at all. A lot of businesses have websites that are way out of date. And a lot of businesses have websites that are not mobile optimized. It's kind of a new thing that everybody's looking at the internet on their phones now, and a lot of businesses are not prepared for that. So this is an idea I got from Kevin David. Even if you, um, if you want to specialize even further than just web design, go into mobile web design. And note that this does not require any technical skill at all, right? And the same with any of these, these things that I'm going to go over, because now everything's done for you. There are tools that like little drag and drop editors like Wix or like WordPress that let you do this or, or you know if you use WordPress you can even you can even download plugins that will do every little thing imaginable for you most of them are free too and so you can learn to do this you can you can create professional web pages without one line of code anywhere 
right? It's, it does not take a high degree of technical skill to do this. So go teach yourself, figure out how to do web design, and then that's a very valuable service for businesses who ha do not have websites or have websites that are poorly optimized for mobile or just, you know, look like they're from 1995. You know, you've probably seen a lot of businesses like that. It's a very valuable service for them. Okay, third high income skill I want to talk about is called copywriting. Copywriting means that you are writing the text for marketing materials. So it could be for brochures, it could be for emails, it could be for physical sales letters, it could be the, the like what the, what the spokesman will say on a video. Writing copy for people, learn to write in a way that is persuasive. It's very important to businesses because all of them need to write copy and the more persuasive copy, the more money they will make. So again, this is all about providing value. The more money your customer makes as a result of hiring you, the more they're going to be willing to pay you. So copywriting. Uh, number four is funnel building. Funnel building is like uh, web design, but it's a little different. A funnel is a the process by which a lead or a somebody who views an initial ad becomes a customer. So somebody, it's called a funnel because it, it's there are multiple steps and they all. The, the pool gets narrower. So there are a bunch of people that see the ad, a smaller number of people will click on the ad, a smaller number of people will uh, opt in to the, whatever the free offer is, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And it gets smaller and smaller until it gets down to the final customer. Um, so instead of traditional web pages, a lot of companies can benefit from having a funnel, which is a, a series of web pages that exists for one particular goal. So it may be just to get an email address. It may be, uh, it may be to, to sell a product. Uh, usually it's to sell a product. So usually you'll, have, you'll get the person to give their email address, and then the next page will sell a cheap product, and the next page will sell a more expensive product, the next page a more expensive product, etc. So it's kind of like a series of web pages. So and, um, I use this a lot. I use a tool called ClickFunnels, um, and I'll link to that below. And... Um, so that's, that's building funnels, and a lot of businesses benefit from that enormously. So that's a way that you could provide a lot of value. And again, this is a drag-and-drop editor. You don't need any technical skills really at all. It's really easy to do, so you can learn how to do that. Um, the last one I'm going to talk to you about tonight is social media management. Uh, a lot of companies want to be on social media or are on social media but don't do it very well, right? And there's a lot of social media platforms and hardly anybody who's interested in cooking or interested in cracking people's backs or, you know, whatever local business it is, hardly anybody is really that interested in learning how to do social media well. So you could learn, um, I would recommend you start with one platform and get really good at it. So it could be Facebook, could be Instagram, could be Pinterest. Pinterest is actually really big for, uh, for companies that are selling physical products, especially like RC physical products. And, or Tumblr. Tumblr is pretty similar to Pinterest. Learn one of those. And then um, get an idea of, of what you can provide as a result. Oh, another thing with Pinterest and Tumblr is that they're great for search engine optimization. You know, not a lot of people think of that. And nobody thinks of, of social media for search engine optimization. But it really helps because if you are good and you get a, a presence and you, you have people sharing your pictures with your links all over the place. So you're getting backlinks all over the place, which is awesome for so, for. Uh, SEO for search engine optimization. So um, that's it. I would recommend that you learn one of those and focus. Focus on one particular niche. Get good at it. I mean, if you spend two weeks, you can get really good at almost any of this, right? Just an intensive two weeks, and which is it's funny, right? Because you spend four years or six years in college you spend $100,000 and you still have no practical skills, but you could teach yourself how to do something that's really actually useful in two weeks. Um, so I'm gonna give you a couple ideas about how to uh, actually implement this. And um, actually, I think I'm gonna leave that for a later video because this one's already getting kind of long. So uh, stay tuned soon and I will tell you how to find the businesses that will pay you and how to reach out to them. You guys have an awesome night. If you enjoyed this comment, please like the video. Please hit the subscribe button and please 
hit the little bell notification, uh, the, little, the little bell icon beside the subscribe button, which will give you notifications in the future when I post new content. And if you know anybody who might be interested in this, please share it. And you guys have an awesome night. I'll talk to you later.